Hi everybody. Today we're going to have a real good look at two of the best smartphone cameras currently on the market. And that's the Nokia 9 Pure View that we have here and the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. Now the Nokia 9 Pure View is a device that's certainly been crafted around its camera capabilities. Whereas the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus is certainly more of an all-rounder, which is arguably reflected in the price point. Now, the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus is readily available from Clove Technology in a number of different storage options as well as colour variants, starting at £899 including VAT. In comparison, the Nokia 9 PureView is only £549 including VAT, which really is incredible value for money considering the images it can take. Now, stock will be shipping from Clove from the 20th of March and all UK orders will come with a free set of wireless earbuds. So when it comes to these camera capabilities, how do the two really compare? We'll be having a look at depth sensing abilities, low light photography, video recording, editing, software tech, you name it, we've got it covered. So let's not hang about any longer. Let's take both of these out and about and have a real good look at what they can achieve. So before we get started, it's important to know exactly what each device is packing. Now the Nokia 9 Pure View comes with that striking 5 lens setup on the rear that's quite unlike anything else on the market. Now all 5 of these lenses are actually 12 megapixel sensors with an f1.8 aperture and a fixed focal length of 28mm. Where the difference in these lies then is in the fact that 2 of these are colour sensors whilst the remaining 3 are monochrome. Not only do monochrome sensors allow for pure black and white photography as we'll see later, but they're also capable of capturing twice the amount of light as RGB sensors, meaning that the Nokia 9 PureView could theoretically deliver up to 10 times more light overall. Now the Nokia 9 PureView is actually the first phone capable of shooting images from five different lenses before fusing them all into one single photo. This results in one ultra highly detailed 12 megapixel photo as you will see later. In comparison, the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus has a triple lens setup, consisting of a 12 megapixel telephoto lens with an f2.4 aperture and 2 times optical zoom, a 12 megapixel wide angle lens that comes with Samsung's famous dual aperture technology, ranging from f1.5 and f2.4, and finally a 16 megapixel ultra wide angle camera with a 120 degree field of vision and an f2.2 aperture. So starting things off, let's begin with some very basic shots from that rear camera. Now none of these images have had any filters applied, any zoom or any fancy software tech. They are simply as they come. I mean overall you can see that the pictures that both devices take are really quite impressive and they're genuinely some of the best that I've seen from smartphones. Now there is a slight distinction though because the photos that I took with the Samsung S10 Plus tended to be lighter and a little more saturated in colour. In comparison, I would say that the images from the Nokia 9 Pure View are probably more natural. I don't know if you would agree. I might also tend to argue that the images from the Nokia 9 are a little bit crisper, but that is really clutching at straws as it's barely enough to notice at all. Now, one of the clear advantages of having multiple lenses is that they actually allow for incredible depth, since numerous layers can be created. Now Nokia have actually claimed that the 9 PureView is able to capture more than 1200 layers of depth data for a distance of up to 40 meters. Now to put that into perspective, most devices capture around 10. This means that bokeh should be far more realistic since the blur would gradually be stronger the further away a scene is from the camera. Now Samsung's bokeh mode is called live focus and uses advanced technology to detect humans, letting you soften the background shots and adjust depth of field for some really fabulous images. Both the Nokia 9 and S10 Plus allow you to adjust the intensity of background blur, whilst the S10 Plus actually has a number of different bokeh effects. Blur, spin, zoom and colour point, which makes background black and white whilst keeping the subject of the image in colour. Now I've actually had really mixed results using colour point. Some of the images I've taken have been really good and really effective. However, on other occasions, as you might see here, there's more of a colour circle, and so the effect is slightly lost. I mean, overall, the bokeh effect of Samsung is very good. However, it's very hard to achieve the same effect simply with software, and so the Nokia 9 PureView definitely has the edge in this respect. 
The other theoretical benefit of the Nokia 9 PureView is its low light performance, since monochrome sensors can capture a lot of light. That said, again we've touched on the fact that this is a purer photography experience with the Nokia phone, but there is no dedicated low light mode. The S10 Plus in comparison does have bright night mode, that's activated automatically in darkness and the results for me have been really good. Now a powerful processor automatically combines multiple frames of the same low light moment into one final shot, and both the front and the back of the device manage to capture an impressive amount of detail. Alongside this, the S10 Plus also benefits from Samsung's dual aperture technology that provides great day-to-night light control, adjusting and optimising light before you tap the shutter. If selfies are more your thing, then the front setup of both of these devices are also pretty impressive. Now, Samsung's front setup has undergone a makeover since the Samsung Galaxy S9 and now consists of two front lenses, a 10 megapixel main lens with an f1.9 aperture and an 8 megapixel RGB depth cam that has an f2.2 aperture. In contrast, the Nokia 9 PureView has just the single 20 megapixel sensor with an f1.8 aperture. Being more of a pure photography experience, the Nokia 9 PureView has slightly less fancy software effects, but it does come with HDR support for a complete range of colours in portraits. Now personally, I found the selfies of the Samsung S10 Plus to be more flattering, but that is mostly because of these effects and the software that's ready available. As we'll discuss later in this video, one of the big benefits of the Nokia 9 PureView is its editing abilities after a picture is taken. So it depends if you want a ready-made selfie or to perfect it yourself. Now when it comes to recording video, both the Nokia 9 and the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus are capable of 4K Ultra HD recording, both front and back. But what you've probably noticed already is that Nokia's camera powerhouse doesn't come with stabilisation and so handheld video recordings can be incredibly shaky. Now in comparison, super steady video has been enabled on the S10 Plus and offers really effective digital video stabilisation. The device actually uses dynamic tone mapping, which means that colours stay accurate in each scene and I think you will agree looking at the videos we have here. I mean either way, the actual quality of the image of both recording is as brilliant. The Samsung S10 Plus does have the added advantage of being able to shoot both in slow and super slow-mo at 90 frames per second with HD support. As you can see here, the results are pretty impressive. However, the actual quality of the picture is slightly lost when compared with standard shooting, but that's hardly unexpected. Low light video recording with both is also pretty impressive. Now I would argue that the results of the S10 Plus are probably that little bit lighter, However, the Nokia 9 PureView probably captures with that little bit more detail, but again, you're hardly going to be disappointed with either. Now, as a pure photography experience, the editing capabilities of the Nokia 9 PureView are superior to pretty much every other device on the market right now. Now, this is because you can save images both as a finished JPEG and as a raw image, meaning that you can edit every tiny detail as you see fit. Now if you're not quite at that level yet, then you can adjust basic blur and colour saturation amongst others in Google Photos. Now this is the same with the S10 Plus, which allows you to apply filters after the shot, as well as adjusting blur as we've seen previously. Now outside of this, as the Nokia 9 PureView is more of a pure photography experience as we've covered, there aren't as many fancy bits so to speak, such as AR stickers or novelty shooting modes. That said, as three of its sensors are monochrome, the Nokia 9 PureView is capable of pure black and white photography that gives a really brooding look. Now some of the images that I've taken with the monochrome setting have been great and are definitely something that I would use if I had this phone myself. That said, I've been equally impressed with the wide angle lens of the S10 Plus. Now the Nokia 9 doesn't come fitted with a similar lens and the images that I've taken, as you can see here, really benefit the actual picture and don't come with too much distortion. Now I would certainly use this a lot and I think it will prove a very popular addition for Samsung. AR emojis are also back, allowing you to use a selfie to create an emoji that looks just like you and follows your movement. So overall I really cannot pick these two apart. If you're a more serious photographer and are looking for a pure photography experience from your smartphone, then the Nokia 9 PureView is probably the device for you. Being able to save images in the RAW format is a really big bonus, and the depth sensing abilities of the device really are extraordinary. Colour reproduction is incredible, and I've been seriously impressed with the images that I've taken. 
It's also important to remember that the Nokia 9 PureView is also £300 cheaper. In comparison, if you prefer a ready-made image and editing isn't too important to you, then the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus might be better for you. The software tech has been very impressive and produces some images that are perfect for Instagram without any tinkering. I've been really impressed with the super steady video mode and its wide angle capabilities are something I would personally use a lot. Now the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus is currently shipping from Clove Technology with a variety of memory variants starting at £899 including VAT. Similarly, the Nokia 9 PureView is shipping from Clove from the 20th of March for £549 including VAT and all UK orders will be shipped with a free pair of Nokia True Wireless earbuds. Now make sure you subscribe to our channel for all of the latest news and reviews and head to our social media pages for more. Thank you for watching and we'll see you all again soon.